Hello and welcome to Zany Geek and today we're going to show you how to install and configure Swan Security Home Safe View for Android. The first thing you're going to need to do is load up the Play Store and do a search for Home Safe View by Swan Security. Click install. Once that's installed, hit open. On any permission requests that pop up, just hit allow. And then in the top left, you want to hit the hamburgers or the three lines and select device. Hit the plus and select online device. Just make sure you're connected to your home Wi-Fi. And then your device should appear. And in the device name section, just give it a name you can easily recognize. And at the bottom, you want to stick your username and password in and hit save. Now, once you've hit save, it will go to the live screen. And as you can see here, it's showing us eight cameras, four of which are dead. I only have four on the system. So we can change that by selecting the icons down at the bottom. And there we have four and back to eight and so on. So that's the first bit done. If you double tap any of the individual windows, it will maximize. You can also swipe left to right, right to left, once the window's maximized. Now down at the bottom, we've got a few more icons. The one on the bottom left that looks like a camera is simply a screenshot taker. You hit capture all, it will record a screenshot and save it. The next one's video. And the one across again is Zoom, but I don't have Zoom enabled cameras, so that's pointless to me. The next one across enables lets us uh, select the mainstream or substream for viewing. Now, mainstream tends to be better quality, substream tends to be worse quality, but you can configure that later on. There's a couple of ways into getting to most of these options and if you scroll across there's a sound menu but my cameras don't have any sound there's an aspect ratio menu for changing the view of the image and that's about it down the bottom if you click the lines in the top left hand corner again so if we go into playback here's where you can uh, view any recorded video so we click a box, we select the channel, and we select the date. And then we select what type of recording we want to bring up. I'm going to simply select all. Once you've decided what video you want to search for, simply hit confirm in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, it starts to load the recordings. Now at the bottom, you'll see little green lines and what that is, is it's showing us when a recording was made and we can simply press with our finger and scroll across to select the video that we want to play back. I do find that the mobile app does work a little more slowly than the PC or Mac app, but it does work and it works pretty well. Let's try another one. There we go. We've got some motion at a car driving past at six in the morning. And scroll forward a bit more. There you go. So anyway, you can see how it works. Pretty straightforward, pretty quick. And pretty handy. Right, next thing. If you go down to the record bit, that's any recordings that you might happen to have manually instigated. Um, as you can see, I've not recorded any. If you select image here, you can see the screenshot we took earlier. And you can simply delete that if it's no longer of any use to you, which I have done. If you go one more down, that's cloud and you can stick in at the moment, you can stick in your Dropbox username and password. And I believe that uploads your screenshots to the cloud, but I've not actually tried that yet. Um, push service is pretty self-explanatory. You need to set this up so the device can send you push notifications for motion and whatnot. 
Now, for this to work, you've got to go into your battery optimization, your device maintenance on Android, and disable battery optimization for the Swan HomeSafe View app. So scroll down, find the Swan HomeSafe View app. There we go, and deselect. Once that's done, you can go back into the Swan Safe app, turn on push notifications, and job is a good one. Next, you can rename your device, re-enter your admin username and password, or remove the device if you wanted to. And the last one is setting up Google Home. So I've set this up so I can stream the Swan security system to my Google Chromecast. It's pretty easy. Just hit the let's start button. Now from in here, you're going to hit let's start. Once you hit let's start, it's going to ask you to synchronize your Google account with the Swan HomeSafe U app. So here it says it looks like your Swan security account is not linked yet. And then you hit pair Google account at the bottom. Up comes my Google account. I select it. And there you go. Registration successful. Now. I can use Google Assistant or Chromecast to cast any of the cameras to my living room television, which is pretty handy. So once I turn my television on and the Chromecast fires up, you'll see the little Chromecast icon in the top right hand corner next to the device icon. Once the Chromecast icon lights up in the top right, we'll enable it. There you go. So we enable it by clicking on it and we select the Chromecast device, which was living room TV. Now, a little Chromecast icon appears on all of the cameras and simply to start casting that specific camera, you just tap the Chromecast icon in the top right hand corner of each camera. So there we go, swiped and I've clicked the Chromecast icon on the top right and you can't see the television, but that's now gone over to the television. We'll swipe and try it again on the next camera. And that's pretty quick. It takes a hot second to switch over and start streaming, but it does work pretty well. And it's good if your DVR is not anywhere near your television. To stop casting, simply hit the Google Chromecast icon in the top near the right and select stop casting. And that's about it. We've been Zany Geek. Please like, comment and subscribe.